Good morning, Sagas. I'm Akal Tizai, and today is Thursday, February 9th. And I'm Matt Hollenbaugh. This is SNN. To celebrate Black History Month, we thought we'd introduce you to Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, or Armida Ross, was in, born enslaved in March 1822 in Dorchester County, Maryland. In 1849, she, was, she escaped to Philadelphia, but returned to Maryland to rescue her family. She eventually began helping more and more slaves escape via a route now referred to as the Underground Railroad. While Tubman is best known for her work freeing other black men and women of the 19th century, she was also the first woman to lead an armed expedition in the war. During the Civil War, she began as a Union cook and nurse, and eventually became an armed scout and spy when she guided the raid at Cumbahee Ferry. She liberated more and more, she liberated more than 700 enslaved people, establishing her as an abolitionist and freedom icon. Following the Union victory, Harriet Tubman participated in the women's suffrage movement before retiring due to illness. In death, she is widely honored and memorialized for her incredible courage and bravery in advocating for the black community. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Saga's Choir's Love Concert is tonight, tonight at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are available on GoFan for $10. If you have received a parking ticket, go to the ASB office to pay them. Unpaid tickets can result in a loss of after school privileges, including dances and games. Only students with a parking pass are permitted to park in the student parking lot. Now let's go to Mr. Lapata and Coach Russell with this week's Athletic Director's Minute. Good morning, Centurions. I'm Coach Russell, and this is Mr. Lapata, and this is the AD Minute. Tonight, we got girls basketball playing at Highland, and we got boys soccer taking on Crossroads down in Santa Monica. So, first, uh, Jersey Mike's Player of the Week, Mr. Lapata. Jersey Mike's Player of the Week this week. We only have one, but it's a good one. It is Ashley Striegel. She is a girls varsity soccer ball uh, soccer player. She had a couple of goals in a game last week. She's a senior captain. She's been leading by example all season. She scored a great goal on senior night from about 25 yards out. Ashley's been a great addition to our soccer girls program here the last four years. Great job, Ashley. Well deserved. So in honor of Super Bowl Sunday, I figured we would have a football joke. Um, what's a football player's favorite store? Favorite store? Favorite store. No idea. Bait and tackle. Hashtag turbo. I like it. All right, with that being said, let's go back to our anchor. Thanks, Mr. Lapata and Coach Russell. Good morning, Sagas. I'm Sophia Card with today's Saga Sports Update. Today, boys varsity soccer has their first playoff game against Crossroads in Santa Monica. The game starts at 3. Girls basketball plays their first round of CIF at Highland at 7. Good luck to all of our Centurion athletes. That's all for me. Now, let's go to a message for our Saga seniors. Hey, seniors. Every year, SNN puts together a video yearbook compiling all of your best memories from sporting events, dances, academics, extracurriculars, and childhood. If you purchase the Senior Pack, you'll receive a Senior Slideshow at the Senior Luau at the end of the year. But if not, you can still purchase the Senior Slideshow for $20 separately. Now is the time to submit your pictures. You may have seen the QR codes posted around campus, which you can scan to send your submissions. Submissions can also be sent to senior23slideshow at gmail.com or through direct message to Saugus News Today on Instagram. We look forward to sharing the final product with you in May.
Thanks, Marissa. Seniors, remember to scan the QR code to submit your photos. Saugus has three junior delegates and one alternate delegate in this year's American Legion's Boys and Girls State. Boys and Girls State is a week-long conference in Sacramento that teaches students about government, politics, and pride in being an American. Congratulations to Avery Dorn, Caitlin Park, and Dominic Lewis on being chosen as a delegate. And congratulations to Bradley Nelson on being selected as an alternate delegate. The cafeteria is still offering one free breakfast and lunch for every student. Additional breakfast costs $2 and additional lunch costs $3.50. Now, let's go to our scholarship news. The Club of Santa Clarita Valley provides the Young Women in Public Affairs Award to a young woman of age 16 to 19 who demonstrates commitment to volunteerism, local or student government involvement, leadership achievement, or advocating for women globally. For more information and to apply, use the link listed below. If you have any questions, email the address. Applications are due by February 24th. The California Credit Union Annual Scholarship Program is now available. The Credit Union awards 10 students $1,000 in scholarships. To be eligible, you must be a senior with a minimum of GPA of 2.0. You must be, excuse me, you must, oh, you, excuse me, you must include academic performance, school or community involvement, and a letter of recommendation, and an essay submission. Applications are due by February 10th. For more information and to apply, use the link listed below. The Santa Clarita Arts Association provides scholarships to student artists in the community. This opportunity is available to all high school senior art students in the Santa Clarita Valley. To be eligible, you must be a graduating senior who plans to continue their education in the arts field. To receive application information, email the address listed below. Applications are due by March 27th. That's all for today. I'm Mikhail Tizai. Stay tuned for Aston Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm at Hollenbaugh. Don't forget that because of the Winter Formal Rally, tomorrow's schedule will be slightly different. You can find the schedule on the Saugus website. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.